Hey folks, hope you're doing good today. Now I'm going to check out some dope music today. Some modern, chaotic, hardcore slash mathcore stuff. Uh, very nice as well. The first band I'm going to check out, we've checked these guys out a few times before. Very nice. The God Awful Truth. Their track is called Fear is the Mind Killer. Let's give them a spin. Nice bass. They sound sick. Sick. Yeah, love the blast beats in this. That's not something you really hear in mathcore very often. Some blast beats and blackened edges. Very nice to hear it in this music. And the last band we're going to check out today are actually a blackened mathcore band, which is very, very nice. Uh, that's something I'd really like to hear a lot more of. These guys are sick, really modern. If you've been into mathcore over the last kind of 20 odd years, uh, you can hear different influences in this band of different bands that have come through the mathcore scene. Uh, but they've added a freshness and a modernness to it and kind of pulled it together in a different way. Very, very cool. Nice squealing guitars in this one. Loads of panic chords, which is a staple of the mathcore genre and always has been. Uh, I don't think we'll ever see those kind of fade out. Uh, but it does sound dope and squealing and, you know, winding around the neck is really dope. But man, the bass sounded sick in this one, which is not always something you can say for mathcore either. Uh, it was normally just kind of screeching guitars and stuff, but to be able to hear that crunching bass underneath sounded really great. Very, very nice. Uh, and I liked as well with this, more of a kind of emotional edge within the lyrics and within the vocal tone um, to bring in a kind of emo vibe, kind of emo power violence vibe to it as well. I really like that. Very, very nice. Right, we're going to have to start this one again because someone came to the door halfway through the track, so I had to stop the video. Uh, now, this band is new to the channel. We haven't checked them out before. They've got a brand new uh, official video just come out as well, which is kind of why I pushed this one to the start front of the queue today because uh, I really want to check these guys out. We need to get into this band by the sounds of things. This band's called Bother. Their track is called His Soul Is Still Dancing, which is a cool name. Watch out if you're sensitive. Here we go. Big sound for a three-piece band with no bass. Nice distortion on the vocal. Nice 
You don't hear feedback in music as much anymore. Nice passion out the vocals there, really roars through the mic with the distortion on it, sounds sick. Nice video as well, all looked dope in the band. Cool to see that there are three piece with no basses. There was bassist in the music, uh, bass in the music, um, but obviously, you know, they're making that up within the mix. Cool to see a mathcore band just as a three piece. That's not something you normally see. Uh, it's normally kind of grind bands and stuff that we check that out with. So it's nice to see that, it's pretty cool. I, I like it where, Bands haven't got everyone they need to kind of make a full band, but they still get the job done nicely. These guys had a big, thick sound, uh, really heavy, and the distortion on the vocal adds to that as well. So yeah, sick job, nice one. Uh, we'll be checking these guys out more in the future because we've got some more videos to give a spin. Now, we'll give these guys a spin once before, I think. These are a dope band, a band I, I want to hear more of, but also a genre that I just want to hear more of. I think this is pretty much the only band I could say we've come through the show who call themselves Blackened Mathcore. Uh, and those are two words and genres that should go together very, very nicely. We had a bit of Blast Beats and Blackened Edge in there with the God Awful Truth, uh, but I'd really like to see a nice, like, dialed up Blackened Edge but with some mathiness and offbeat and all kind of crazy chaotic stuff as well. That would be a, I can just see that being very nice. I've never really thought about it before. This is Telos. The track is called Smother. We're going to finish with these guys. Let's give it a spin.
a nice balance and groove as well in these bands today in the modern math core. You know, it's not all just chaotic upbeat up stuff. It's a nice groove and balance in these bands as well. That us done? Yeah, there you go. I was really into that one. That was a three-minute track, and I was thinking we still had ages to go on it. Very, very nice. These guys as well, they haven't just kind of brought in Blackened with just some blast beats or something like that. They've moved the tone as well away from just jangly, hardcore-y guitars, chaotic, hardcore stuff. There's more of a darker tone in the guitars, Blackened in that area as well. The vocals are pushed back in the mix in a nice way. Uh, so, yeah, these guys are kind of not just kind of using black and riffs within their music, they've actually adapted the sound as well uh, to be more blackened than, than math corey and hard corey. Very nice. We're going to have to check more of the, all of these bands out to, that we've checked out today uh, because I really like the modern math core. When I first got into mathcore, I've been thinking today with these bands because there is a nice modern edge to these bands. There's a groove, there's a bounce, there's a, that kind of single string gentiness to them as well because of their guitar tones are so fat and stuff like that so there is modern and freshness to this math chord and the stuff that you know i first got into like 20 years ago which was really about just being chaotic and weird uh they had those jangly hardcore guitars but it was all just wait 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 all over the place uh and really quite difficult to listen to and get into these bands are much more accessible now even though that you'd still class them as math core and there's offbeat and weirdness in there uh there's still a nice groove and bounce and pocket that you can get into into as well so it's not just all total chaos and you know math to the max algebra kind of stuff um you know it's a bit more kind of one plus one equals two now uh and you might say you know if you're a purist you might say wow they've dumbed it down a bit uh and i could i could agree with that to a point because i, I don't hear as many really chaotic you know like daughters canada songs type stuff anymore uh because bands just really aren't making that kind of music anymore and they were only making that music for a short period of time anyway that stuff was just a flash in the pan and even those bands decided to move on as well uh but i would like to still hear more bands like that coming out nowadays and kind of revitalizing the really chaotic stuff but i also like as well that we've got this modern edge coming through that's adapted some of the edges from the math core scene over the years, but also added their own things, there's groove, there's bounce, uh, and there's modern riffiness and stuff in there as well. So it's not just kind of a straight up regurgitation of old stuff, but with a modern mix and stuff like that. So it's very, very nice. I think we've checked out three quality bands today uh, and hopefully you've enjoyed them as well. If you have, think about giving the video a like. If you want to get your band on this channel and let me talk about your music, head over to the website. All the links are in the description. But otherwise, we'll see you when we see you next. Hope you're having a good one. Cheers. Bye.